everyone. I hope everything's going well with you. Uh, here we are, April Fool's Day, 2020, and we're in the midst of this whole coronavirus stay-at-home debacle thing going on. And, you know, being that I run a jiu-jitsu school and it's, uh, you know, where people get in extraordinary shape, one of the things that people always ask is, hey, now that I'm not training and I'm stuck at home, what can I do to maintain some semblance of being in shape. Well, if you have facilities at home, obviously, just, just do them. The problem is, you know, a lot of times if you're used to working out outside, working out inside of a house isn't really going to be all that compelling or appealing for that matter. So what you need to do is just think of some alternate things to do. If you've got the equipment, use it. Now's a good time to take advantage of that investment you made in it. Now let's say you're somebody who doesn't have any access to any equipment. You know, everything was at the gym. What you need to do is just kind of think simply. Don't make it complicated, make it simple. For those of you that have seen our video that one of my junior instructors uh, did when we were over at the home studio, he, he did some exercises that you can easily do at home. We did them on a mat, but you don't need a mat by any means to do it. You can do it on a carpet. You can lay some towels on. If you have a yoga mat, then use a yoga mat. You don't need to have a full-on um, jujitsu mat set up in your, in your TV room to get it done. So what you want to do is this. Keep it simple. Walk, right? Do you walk outside? No. Some places they may not let you, but I can't see why they would not. I mean, here I am in Flower Mound, Texas, and people are walking. I, I don't I don't see this many people walking typically because I guess most people there are there home now. They may work out of their house, take a break, take a 15 minute break, go for a quick walk. If you have dogs, walk your dogs. I bet dogs are getting walked more now than they ever have been in their lives. You know, dogs are happy, like, hey, I hit the quad every day now, sometimes two, three times in a day. Yeah, go walk your dog. You know, it's a good a good reason to get a dog is to make you walk them because they really should be walked. You don't need to go fast. If you want to walk fast, walk fast. If you want to jog, you want to run, feel free. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's all good. Just something to keep you keep your your body moving. If you have stuff to pick up, pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Right? Pick it up, move it somewhere, put it down. You know, move it just for the sake of picking it up. I mean, just that simple. One thing that I tell a lot of new members of my studio who are out of shape when they come in and they cannot keep up in class, but in their off days because of the work schedule, they can't come every single day, they ask, hey, what can I do in my off days to kind of maintain the progress that I'm making in class? One easy thing to do is I tell them right before you shower, do a quick workout. What's a quick workout? For me, my the shower that I shower in, to get hot, for the water to get hot, takes a good two to three minutes because it's the furthest away from the water heater, apparently. So what I'll often do sometimes is I'll just turn the water on and while it's getting hot, I'll start doing some push-ups. I'll do some jump squats. I'll do some sit-ups. And for people who are brand new to doing any kind of physical activity or maybe just don't do it all that much, do as many push-ups as you can. Let's say it's 10. Then switch up to doing jump squats. Do as many as you can. Let's say it's 10. Then lay on your back and start doing some sit-ups. Let's say it's only 10. You just did 30 reps total. Now just jump in the shower like you normally would, right? That would, that didn't take long. That might have taken a minute and a half, maybe two. And you're still going to step into a slightly cold shower, right? Do this every day. But now, do you only do 10? Absolutely not. So let's say today you did 10 of each. Tomorrow you shoot for 11. You don't need to shoot for 20 or 50. You just shoot for one better. If we do incremental improvement, then we cannot help but get better over time. Think of it this way. Let's say, and you're not gonna be able to, but let's say you started January 1st doing, well, let's say April 1st, doing 10 push-ups, and you added one per day. One year from now, on March 31st of 2021, you'd think you'd be doing 375 push-ups, right? 10 plus one per day. The chances of that happening are pretty small. Not to say it's not possible, but really, think about it. Who do you know can do 375 push-ups straight without stopping? Almost no one. 
So just simply adding one push-up per day will get you very far. Same with the jump squats, same with the sit-ups. That's a very simple formula for getting in shape gradually, but staying in shape because you just keep doing them. If you just did those three exercises, that's, I wouldn't say that's all you need, but really, that's, that's really all you need. <laughs> now with that video I'd mentioned earlier that we had put together, I would guess there are probably about 30 exercises on there. For something like that, you can do one set of 10 for each. Don't stop in between, just boom, 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 just, just do all of them, right? That might take you 15, 20 minutes. Or you can take groups of them, say four or five of those exercises, go through a set of 10, one, two, three, four, five, and start up again. And try to do it without any rest. So let's say without any rest, you can do two rounds. That's fine. What do we do tomorrow? We either add one more round or one more rep per exercise and do the same amount of rounds. As long as you're increasing the load somewhere. I don't want you to drastically increase the load. Just increase it a little bit. Or just do push-ups. You can do planks. There are so many things you can do that will help you maintain your activity. But don't think that you have to go balls out intense right at the get-go. You don't need to do that. Just do something and just make sure that what you do tomorrow is a little more than what you did today, just a little bit. And switch it up sometimes. So let's say you go out to walk and you've been walking a bunch and you're, you know, you're walking maybe two, three miles a day. On another day that you go out to walk, instead of walking, do wind sprints. What are wind sprints? Just run for like 20 to 40 yards. Run hard, right? Make sure you're, you're kind of loose first. Don't just do it cold. 20 to 40 yards, turn around, walk back. I mean, don't, don't worry about counting. You don't have to do it for 20 seconds at a time, 20 seconds off, 20, second, 20 seconds on. You can do that if you want. But it's just easier. Just run from like where you are to the next, ne next mailbox. Stop, turn around, walk back. Do that five times on the first day, six times on the second day, so on and so forth, until you work up to about 10 or so. Wind sprints will build muscle fast, right? Think about it this way. Think about sprinters. You ever thought of world-class sprinters and you compare them to marathon runners? Marathon runners, they run distance, right? But none of them are really built. They're all pretty thin. On the other hand, if you have a sprinter, sprinters do high intensity over short bursts, which then tends to make them build muscle. For, so for those of you who like the old body shaping thing, then you get more body shaping, not, not being in shape, but body shaping from short, intense bursts of exercise, like wind sprints. If you want a great cardiovascular workout, then yeah, you know, just go ahead and run, but just realize that it's gonna be at the expense of some muscle mass or the shaping that happens when you do more intense exercises. You can do a lot of great workouts with just the weight of your body. Now, if you find that you're doing 100, 200 push-ups at a time and you don't really have time to keep doing that, then you can put something over your back. I know Herschel Walker used to talk about how during commercial breaks when he'd watch TV with his kids, uh, one of his kids would just lay on top of his back while he went and did push-ups. And he'd do as many as he can, he could for three minutes, which is you know a typical commercial break. That's something you do as well. It really is, uh, you can be as imaginative as as you possibly can be. But the thing is, you know, we, we get into gym mode and we just think about what we do in the gym. And we don't, we, you know, we get in that mode of just working out there that you don't think about other places that you can work out. And it doesn't have to be the same thing. It can be something completely different, right? Even I'm looking right out here outside and there's a, a, a little, uh, an area where plants are, the trees are planted and there's a slope. You could run up the slope, turn around, walk back. Run up the slope, turn around, walk back. Right? Don't run back down because that puts a lot more pressure on your knees running down something than it is running up. So as an example, let's say there's a, a high school near you and you can get to the bleachers right, in the, in the field. Run up the bleachers, walk down the bleachers. Right? You don't want to put additional pressure on your knees every time you step down. You can push a lot harder going up than you can pushing down without injuring yourself. Now for those of you who are injured, do a body part that is not injured. Right? So let's say my knees are, are jacked up and I can't do jump squats. Then do push-ups, do sit-ups, do something else just to get your body moving. Anyway, I hope that helped you. 
in giving you an idea of things you can do to maintain your shape and maintain your conditioning while you're sequestered in the house. If you have any questions, go and comment below. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please share this if you think it's worth something. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. Thank <laughs> you.